All right, so let's start with problem. Now we're on to problem two. It says, the screw eye is subjected to the two forces shown. Express each force in Cartesian vector form. Find the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force. All right, so let's start by looking at what we have. We have F2, which gives us coordinate direction angles. We love those. And we have F1 that has a projection angle. So let's go ahead and get our F1 out of the way. We know that F1Z is this line right here. So let's find that first. F1Z will be equal to positive 300 sine 60 because it is across from this 60 degrees. Now let's find F1 prime, which is this line right here. So F1 prime, it's always going to be positive, the four, so it will be positive 300, and it will be cosine 60 because it's next to this 60 degree angle right there. But now we have to take into account the X and Y, um, the X and Y of this projection angle, which our Y is this right here, and our X is this right here because that X is parallel to this X axis. All right, so F1 prime of X is equal to 300 cosine 60. And it will be sine 45 because here's that angle, here's that, triangle, here's our theta, here's our x, our y. x is across from that. So it will be sine times sine 45. And our f1y will be 300 cosine 60, positive. Um, and notice I missed here that this 300 for the X should be negative because it is in the negative X direction. So remember to keep that in mind, but the Y is positive because it's in the positive Y direction and it will be cosine 45 because it is next to that theta. All right, so now we can find our F1. We can write our F1 in Cartesian vector form. So it's just 300 sine 60 oops. You have to start with F1x. So negative 300 cosine 60 sine 45 i plus 300 cosine 60 cosine 45 j plus 300 sine 60 k. And when we put this in our calculator, we get that F1 is negative 106.07 i plus 106.07 J plus 259.81 K Newtons. So now let's find F2. F2X, here's our F2, here's our F2. 
and the angle between F2 and X is at 60 degrees. So it will be 500 cosine 60 I plus our Y is 45 degrees from the Y axis. So plus 500 cosine 45 J and since here is this 120, we are 120 degrees away from the z-axis, it will be plus 500 cosine 120 K. And coordinate direction angles, even though this F2 is pointed in the negative z direction, the angles take care of that negative for you. So it is always positive and it is always cosine. All right, and when we put this into our calculator, we get that F2X is equal to, not F2X, F2, and also this is just F2. I did it all in one line, sorry. F2 is equal to 250i plus 255j minus 250k newtons. So now that we have our F1 and our F2, we can now find the resultant force. We know that FR is just equal to F1 plus F2. So FR is equal to negative 106.07 plus 250 I plus 106.07 plus 255 J plus 259.81 minus 250k. And putting that into our calculator, we get 143.43i plus 459.62j plus 9.81k. To find the final FR, we have to square these and square root them. Square, square, square root. So we'll get 143.43 squared plus 459.62 squared plus 9.81 squared. So we get that FR equals 481. Newtons. Now, let's see. We found the magnitude. Now we need to find the coordinate direction angles. So, our final step alpha is equal to cosine negative one FRx over FR. Beta is equal to cosine negative one FRY over FR. And gamma is equal to cosine negative one FRZ over FR. Here is our FRX. Here is our FRY. Here is our FRZ. And this is our FR. So if we just plug these in, we get cosine negative one times 143.43 over 481, which gives us alpha equals 72.62 degrees. For beta, we get 
cosine negative one times 459.62 over 481, which gives us that theta equals 17.43 degrees. And lastly, our gamma cosine negative one times 9.81 over 481. So gamma is 88.83 degrees. And we're done. So that's all for this problem. And I'll see y'all in the next one.